students welcome back to the SST class again we will continue chapter number 14 that is communication but before this let me ask some questions related to the previous video and I hope you know the answers very well so first is which is the fastest means of communication what is telephone how does a cellular phone work? Why is the smartphone popular now? What are STD and ISD? What is an email? What is a fax? How does a fax machine work? How can we send an email? The objectives of today's video are to make you familiar with the meaning of mass communication, to make you familiar with the various means of mass communication, to know about the importance of radio in mass communication, invention of television and its role in mass communication, importance of internet, cinema and advertisement in mass communication. In the previous video, we have read about Telephone, fax and email that are the personal means of communication. Today we will learn about mass means of communication that are radio, television, internet, cinema and advertisement. Before reading, let's discuss terms first. Mass communication giving information to a large number of people at a same time radio audible means of communication television audio and visual means of communication cinema a source of recreation advertisement a piece of information in newspaper on television etc that tries to convince people to buy something. Next, social issues, a subject of discussion related to society, for example, hunger. Now students, open page number 96 of your book and see the point, mass communication. So first, what is mass communication? It means giving information to a large number of people at a same time. Now let's start reading. Reaching out to a large number of people simultaneously is called mass communication. We come to know about the happenings in our country and in the countries of the world through newspapers, magazines and journals. Now students underline the word simultaneously which means at the same time. Next happenings means events. Next is journal, a newspaper or a magazine, especially one in which all the articles are about a particular subject or profession. Newspaper is a very powerful means of communication. Millions of people are reading newspapers on daily basis. In this way, they remain updated about various events news etc in the same way various magazines journals are helping people a lot to make them updated and aware about various events trade business entertainment little topic and so on radio television and cinema have taken mass communication to a different level in recent times the internet has become the most powerful means of communication. Radio, television and cinema have uplifted the level of mass communication. Recently, internet has become the most powerful means of mass communication. But before internet, newspaper was the most powerful means of mass communication. Next is radio. In 1886, G. Marconi invented the radio. It is a source of education, news and entertainment. The radio also has different channels like the television. 
Now students, underline the word source means a person, place or thing where something is obtained. This is a picture of radio. An audible means of communication. It has number of channels like television. But we cannot see the channels here. We can only listen it. This is a picture of G. Marconi means Guillermo Marconi who invented radio in 1886. His invention has become a source of education, news and entertainment. Now concentrate on the point which is given in box. An Indian scientist Jagdish Chandra Bose first found out that radio waves can be sent over a long distance without the use of wires. This is a picture of Jagdish Chandra Bose who found out that radio waves can be sent over a long distance without the use of any wire. Come to the next point, Television. John Logie Baird invented the television in 1926. Within a span of 86 years, it has become the most powerful means of communication. It means less than 100 years. It has become the most powerful means of communication. We can watch the live coverage of news, sports, educational programs, movies and many other programs just by sitting at home. Thus, it has brought the word into our drawing room. It has made a major impact on our lives. Now underline the word span means the length of time. Next major means very large. Next impact means effect. This is a picture of John Logie Baird who invented television in 1926. Before his invention radio was there. With the help of radio, we can just listen education programs, news, sports and so on. But after his invention, we can listen as well as watch it. Next point is Internet. The Internet has brought the world to our fingertips. Any information on any topic, e-shopping, e-banking, e-ticket, tickets for travel or entertainment can be done through Internet. Emails are sent and received through the internet. It sends information to any part of the world instantly. Now underline the words. First fingerprint, mark made by a finger. Next e-shopping, buying goods or services over the internet. Next e-banking, a method of banking by which we do transactions via internet. Most of the people have mobile phones with internet. It means they have word in their hand. They can search any topic. It depends upon their interest. With the help of internet, we can do e-shopping, e-banking, we can buy tickets, we can send email and many more things. Next point is cinema. The first film was shown in 1895. Today, it is the most popular means of entertainment Short films which are called documentaries are made to show the real life situations to educate and to create awareness on social issues. It also helps us to know the culture and lifestyle of the people all over the world. Now students, underline the word awareness means knowledge of something. Cinema is the most popular means of entertainment. Why? Because it has made number of movies on various topics. Topics like culture, sports, comedy, tragedy, adventure, drama, history, action and so on. And it is still making movies. Next point is advertisement. Advertisements are made to popularize a product or idea among people. This is the most effective means of communication. Newspapers, magazines, radio and television are used to reach the people. The government also creates awareness among people over a public or social issue through advertisements. Now students, underline the words first popularize means to make something famous next effective means to make something successful 
Advertisements are the best way for the companies to convince people to buy their products. For this purpose, they use newspaper, magazines, radio, television and so on. Not only the companies, even government creates awareness among people over social issues through advertisements. For example, nowadays, coronavirus is prevailing all over the world. So our Indian government has launched Aragya Sethu app through advertisement. The government of India has launched Aragya Sethu app through newspaper and television. Now let's take quick look on the chapter. Communication means exchange of information between people. Early men drew symbols to represent sounds for speech. Next, post office, telegraph, telephone, fax and email are some kinds of personal communication. Next, radio, television, internet, cinema and advertisements are some means of mass communication. I hope today's lesson is quite clear to you. Now your homework is to solve B and C exercise given at page number 98 and revise the terms and also note it down in your notebooks. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.